This is some good vocals! I will tell you right now, I am prepared to be blown out of my slippers. Saying it now. Cheers to that. <laughs> Oh my! Dude, put your headphones on. If you're not wearing headphones, come on! You gotta really listen to this with me! Oh, I'm, I'm caffeined up. We're gonna talk about this after, by the way. So, watch the whole thing with me, and we'll talk about it after. Listen to these dynamics. Oh my goodness. That little slide down. Dude, that's so precise! And we've got how long of this? We got fifth. We got fifteen. Whoops! Almost took the mic out. We got fifteen minutes of this. When I hear good vocals, I can't sit. I am loving these dynamics. See, okay, even in that little phrase, it went from loud, or that wasn't loud, loud to, <laughs> to soft. Loud to soft, loud to soft. That's what's keeping us on our toes on a primal level, keeping us engaged. Within notes, she will change the volume. And when you hear her hold out a note and go from soft to loud and then back to soft, or loud to soft and then loud again, that's a term called messe de voce. And it is an advanced vocal technique. So be paying attention to that and see if you can uh, call out every time that she adds that stylistic technique in. Gosh, so good, man. We got a long ways to go. Oh, 
Okay, a little bit of soul. I love that grit almost. And this is bring the point back. All right, that's it. That's it. Slippers coming off for these dynamics. We'll see if I lose my other one. I got one slipper left. We'll see if I lose it. We're babysitting a sweet little puppy here. Lexi, don't be scared. It's okay. She's looking at me like, what are you doing? I'm going to talk about how she... Because listen how she speaks. In her voice, when she's going up. It's got that rich, rich quality. I'm going to talk about how she's doing that by manipulating the acoustic shaping within her throat and mouth, okay? So I'll talk more about that at the end. But we just gotta keep going, man. I just get, how can you sit down with vocals like this? Dude, it's just so good! <sighs> but I can't see it, I do have to sit back down, okay? But too much caffeine. And I even love that she went a little bit flat. So this is a real performance. That flip is a difficult coordination. A little bit of soul in there. It's like cla it's a classic voice, but there's some soul. Squeak. Yeah. <laughs> That's a hard coordination to get with that kind of precision. Hmm. You're singing from a soul now. Come on, you sang. Okay. You sang now. Hey, there's a difference between singing and singing. I'm ready for her to just start, just go off. You know she can do it. You know she can do it. Come on, this is a 15 minute song. Go off. Oh, there we go. Nice little inflections there. But she's got more in her. Come on, sang sang. I really see that, that's great. <laughs> mm. 
biarkan aku menjalin asmara Talk about vocal stamina. Daniel, I was just about to say it. She is wow. That vocal stamina, and it's those dynamics that are noticed when she actually brought the sound back. I leaned in. I wasn't even thinking about it. It's it's those dynamics that that uh, captivate in the listener. So when you are singing, make sure that you add in your dynamics. She's about to go off. I can feel it. I can feel it. We're getting some belts at the end here. Nice. I'm waiting for those belts at the end and then this other slipper's coming off. Come on. So precise. She has like such control over the. Th we'll talk about it in a second. They're, they're again with those dynamics. She's got the three components of singing down. Whoa. Jeez. This is some good vocals! These are some good vocals! Ugh. I always sit on the pillow when I try to sit back down. Man. She's ripping. <laughs> I don't think I've ever said a, a singer is ripping. That's a first for me. Because she's, she's really going in. <laughs> Dude, I wasn't expecting this. You gave no warning. It's the kind of vocals, because come on, this is 
This is a like 15 minute performance. It's the kind of vocals that makes you want to. I'm about to toss these organs out this window here. Dang, man! Dang! I would never do such a thing to these orchids. We've actually had this for like, it's been about like months, like seven, eight, nine months, maybe longer. It just keeps coming back. It lives on. Okay, anyway, enough about orchids. Let's talk about these vocals. So, three components to an amazing singing voice. Breathing, control of your vocals, and then your resonance, which is your tone. Just as a parallel, think about a car, your engine, your wheel, and then your brand body style of car, Toyota Mercedes. Okay, engine, the breath, the wheel, the vocal cords, control over your vocal cords rather, which is gonna control your pitch and your melody. And then your resonance, which is like the brand of car. You got your Toyota tone, or you have your Mercedes tone, etc. You get what I'm saying? So. Every one of those, she's, it's just so good, man. Like for that long of a performance, let's focus on one though, because we don't have that much more time. So, you know, whenever like, okay, you, you got your phone, you're trying to show, show your friends her performance there, but all you have is your phone speaker. And so you kind of like, you kind of cup your hand almost. You see what I'm saying? And if you'll notice it, if you cup your hand, it's actually going to make the sound louder because it's actually reverbing off of your hand there, which is going to enhance different frequencies, which is going to enhance our perception of the volume. So that same kind of cupping, I don't know, just that same kind of cupping, I'm blanking on the word, but that, <laughs> this, <laughs> okay, is similar to the back of the throat. So she's manipulating the, sound, the, manipulating the shape of the back of her throat so that when the sound is coming up, it hits, it hits the top of her mouth and then just flows right out of her. And that is what enhances different frequencies that enhance the, the, the richness of tone that we perceive and the volume that we perceive. So good. You saw how captivated I was. That is the power of an incredible singer. And I'm telling you right now, it is time that you start working on your dream too. I know if you've made it this far through this video, you have a dream of being a singer. I gotta like be real with you for a second here. If you're not going to start today, when are you going to start? The holiday season is the best time. You have some time off. This is the best time to start learning to sing. And yes, you can learn. We can simplify it to three parts. Breathing, control of the vocal cords, and then your resonance. But you need a mentor. Don't try to go about it alone. So whether you wanna do that offline or online, you gotta get a mentor. Honestly, I recommend start with online. I made you that free 10 minute singing lesson. Start that, try it. It's 10 minutes before you go to another video. Try that 10 minute singing lesson. Get your phone out, okay? Record your voice before it and after it, just 20 seconds, the first song that comes to your mind. Then compare those two audios. That's when you are going to hear the difference and you are going to see that honestly, it's not that hard to improve when you're doing the right things, when you have a mentor. I recommend online learning, especially at first, because it's the, it's the easiest way and it's the most co cost effective way to get great results. You can always later, at some point next year, add on one-on-one -on -one lessons with your online training. You should probably do that at some point, but you don't have to start with that. Start with the easiest thing and build momentum. That's so important. You can absolutely do that with online learning. So get started with the free lesson and then keep going with Singer. Genuinely, you can get a really, really, really good voice all within that online platform. Technology has gotten so good. So I recommend it 100%. And I'm telling you, this is your time, man. You've got a beautiful voice inside of you. You really do. Like you have a beautiful voice inside of you. And I'm telling you that because when I first started, I had a terrible singing voice. And I look young, I got a baby face, but I've been doing this for well over a decade. I've taught thousands of people in a hundred countries. So many of these people started out so not liking their voice, like hating their voice, thinking they could never sing. And we turned them into amazing singers. So I, I just have seen, I've seen so much to where I know, hey, this is something that you can do. You can do this. You've been dreaming about it. The problem is 
It never feels convenient and it feels like it's going to be difficult. But I'm telling you right now, it doesn't have to be difficult. And with online, it can be convenient. Okay, so get started with that free lesson. This is really important. Seriously, you got to get on this dream. You got to start learning to sing. And then when you join Sing or Shoot, cut the distraction. You, you can unsubscribe from, from YouTube, all right? Because I want you to focus in on your dream, on your passion. If you're going to have spare time, man, watch some of that content. Do some of those practice sessions. It's actually going to make a difference here. All right, so much love for you. Let me know how that free lesson goes for you. And then uh, I will see you on the inside of Singer. Peace.